We're here to connect. What's up, guys? Uh, day 14. Uh, tonight we're talking about movies. I did have that long pause in there because it was kind of a long day at the end of the day today, and I've been doing a lot of thinking. Um, over the past past two years, visioning, goal setting, looking into my life, where I want to go, what I, who I want to become, who I have to become, be that person, elements of process, control my life, personality, love language, six human needs, neuroscience, neurolinguistic programming. Connect every single human being on earth. What am I saying? I'm saying probably a bunch of bull stuff that nobody can understands, right? And I'm supposed to talk about movies today. I was going to do a green screen, but the battery's dead in the camera. So movies, um, but reflecting. What Christmas movies do you watch every year? Do you watch new Christmas movies? Do you watch old Christmas movies? Do you watch, do you add new movies in there? No, I, I, I love watching movies in general. But we already know my favorite Christmas movie is Scrooge for the process that, that takes in your life. When you think about the Dickens process. When you think the process of where my life has been, where my life is going, and living in the present to create that future. I'm trying not to get too deep in this. Let's think about this for a second. I want you guys to, I want you to tell me your favorite holiday movie meaning in your life. A funny one, it's a sad one. What holiday movie makes you think? I saw Collateral Beauty, Beauty last week and it didn't even come out this week. It touched me and it made me think about the important things of life. It talks about this. Love. And this. Time. And this. Death. And it just got me thinking about the process of which we go through in life. I'm 35, divorced, don't know if I'll ever actually have kids or not. Some things you just have to be okay with, right? Some things you have to learn to decide if it's important for you in life to deal with that battle, to fight that battle. I choose to live a life of fulfillment. I choose to take a movie and let it affect me in a positive way or just get enjoyment out of it. I don't watch movies that aren't going to get me anywhere. No, well, I guess I do. I waste my, my, my time on Sharknado, but I don't really generally waste my time on things that aren't going to give me a positive aspect or some sort of meaning in my life. And if the storyline in this crappy movie, it is enjoyable for me still, usually has a editor because I look at the filming techniques. A different meaning out of it than maybe most of you if the movie is bad. No, this is therapeutic. The question is, what holiday movie has a meaning in your life? The second part of the question, tell me what that meaning is. If you don't want to tell me publicly on the wall, send me a private message. So side note, um, I wanted to leave in the last half of the trailer from Collateral Beauty. Um, just because as I went through and I edited and I had funny clips and down other videos I downloaded, but I only decided to include this in here. And um, it's edited, it's done, and just watch the rest of this trailer. If you want to watch the whole trailer for Collateral Beauty, please go see that. If you saw the movie, if you see the movie, please let me know what you think and how it affected you. Peace out until I see you tomorrow with Santa Technology. Ignite your legacy. You've been given a gift. There's profound connection to everything. Just look for it. I promise you, it's there. The collateral beauty.